had to show you how juicy it was. And luckily I had a plastic bag sitting next to me. I'm heading out for the day. I'm gonna run around, do some errands. Um, and the first thing, of course, that I had to stop and get because I was up late last night talking to someone until about 12.30. And I'm guessing you can guess who that was. And so I had to stop and get my Tim Hortons Double Double. Oh man, I tell you, nothing starts the day, well, the day out of the house. It's already almost noon, so I'll probably go grab something to eat too. But nothing helps start the day like Tim Hortons. I feel like it's a commercial or something man but it's true so i came to look for some gym equipment and i am in a sea of it right now as you can see behind me so i'm doing a little search just kind of seeing if there's anything else i can pick up that we might need so if i find something i'll definitely show you can you even see what things are because I can't really <laughs> to tell you the truth well I might have found something we'll see I'll take some pictures and I'll show it to Sass and we'll see if we can fit it in our gym take a look so this is a leg curl machine we have something similar right now but ours is a little older and this one looks almost new so we'll discuss it and see i'll update you if we end up putting it in well, there's some decent stuff so we don't i don't really we i should say don't really need anything but it's kind of like we're kind of looking to replace a couple things that are a little older and maybe not worn out but just better quality stuff because this is all used gym equipment from other people's places so it's a pretty good deal so i'll see what sass has to say and we'll go from there and but as for now it's lunchtime now and i was debating what to get and there's some food trucks that are somewhat close to me so i think i'm gonna go check them out i will show you what's there and then I'm pretty sure i'm gonna grab something maybe something mexican we shall see so there's two places here one is called taco justice that you can see behind me there and the other one is burger crush and i of course ended up getting taco justice i ended up getting the big green bastard which is apparently a huge giant burrito so i'll show you what it looks like once it comes they said it'll be about 10 or 15 minutes so i guess it's cooked fresh This is what they call the big green basket. And it is a giant burrito. I'm pretty hungry and I, I think I, I think I'm gonna be able to get through it. So we'll see. Mmm. That is a good burrito. Mmm. Oh no. He did give me lots of napkins. He's like, you're going to need them. So, give me a, a stack of napkins. Wow. We almost had this at this location before we went to Thailand, but because one of Sassy's, somewhere where we went, someone that was working there which just had one for lunch. And I was like, that sounds like something I would really like to try. And now I get to try it. Hmm. So it's got rice chicken, cilantro, but not too much though, luckily, and a bunch of other stuff, lettuce, 
Man, that is a good mix. I'm going to have to bring her here when she gets back. I'm almost done, and it's so juicy that I had to put a plastic bag underneath it because it just started dripping all over me, which is delicious. That's the best kind of burrito, the nice, juicy kind, but wow, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm coming back here. It's almost like it has, like, sweet spots in it or something. I don't know, like... It's it's a very 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 delicious burrito, so I'm 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 very happy with it, and I'm almost done. I, I did not think I was. I, I'm literally stuttering. I'm so speechless. It's so good. So I'm gonna finish it off now. But I had to show you how juicy it was, and luckily I had a plastic bag sitting next to me to catch it because it spilled all over my shirt. Okay, that was terrific, terrific. I I I got soaked in juice but it was well worth it. That, that, that was one of the best burritos I've had in a long, long time. I will definitely, definitely be coming back here and I will definitely, definitely, definitely grab more napkins next time because it is very messy. I got soaked with a bunch of juice on like my <clears throat> third to last bite. It was just like all over me, so. Okay, now I need an opinion here. Is this still considered lunch? I think so. Hmm. Ice cream cone from the Beacon Hill Drive-In, which I think is one of the best ice creams in Victoria. So if you're ever here, give it a try. And I had to quickly jump in and start eating it because it's already melting, as you can see. Oh, there we go. It's good. It's so creamy, the ice cream. Mm. That's still lunch. I just drove down the road, and this is the spot that I've decided to sit and finish this in. Mm. So I just wanted to show you because it's pretty nice out today. And for mid-October, t-shirt and windows down, that's pretty, that's pretty nice, I must say. All right, so, whey protein, check. So since I got home from Thailand and been back in Canada, I've been cooking my meals ahead of time and pre-preparing them about three days at a time and just keeping them in the fridge in sealed containers and then eating them when I can or want. And it makes kind of eating healthier and better a little easier because it's always there, it's always ready, and you cook it ahead of time, and it's still fresh, it's still good. So I'm about to do that now, and I thought I would show you guys a bit of the process. So here we go. I try and get everything prepared and let it heat up and start getting ready while I'm doing other things. So I just put a couple pots on, and I'm gonna get those boiling while I do my chicken breast. The chicken breast I just took out of the packages they come in. It's the chicken breast from Costco that comes frozen and about 25 in like a big bag and they're all individually sealed. So I just opened it, put it in these Ziploc bags and now I'm gonna season it and then throw it in the sous vide, which is a tub of water that boils and cooks it that way, which makes it very juicy and tender. The seasoning I have is a Fiesta sweet and tangy for one of them, and the other one is hot wings. I just throw it in there, mix it around, good to go. There we go. Flip it over, done, done. So this is a sous vide. For chicken, this, for what I set it to at least, it heats up to 160 for one hour and it times it. And what you do is you put each one in, in a, some sort of waterproof bag. I just use Ziplocs because it's easy. Submerge it and let it do its thing. You just have to make sure you don't overload each bag. That's why I'm not doing like too many in each one. Because if you put like three in one, then not all the heat distributes between them apparently. So I 
put these in here, make sure all the air comes out. Just like that. Then we put the lid on and let it sit for an hour. And you don't really need a lid, it just keeps the temperature better apparently and it doesn't boil off the water. So, and it keeps the bags nice in, in the water. Turn the little heads off. I know a lot of people eat the stems, but there's just so much broccoli that I cut the stem off. So I'll keep cutting and cutting, and I think I have one more crown left. And we have asparagus and sweet potatoes. Asparagus. Honestly, I don't really know how much you're supposed to cut off the asparagus, but lately I've been eating it and one of the ends, some of the ends are hard, so I've been cutting a little bit more off than usual. And I know somebody's gonna say, that's a lot of asparagus, because it sure is. And yams. These are Asian yams, I think they were listed as in the grocery store. So I just cut the ends off, peel them, cut it up, and throw it in the water and just let them boil for, I'd say probably 20, 25 minutes. I do not like getting my finger too close to the knife, so my cuts are not even, but I am not currently cutting myself. So that makes me happy. It's not perfect, but I have a tendency to injure myself, I would say. So at least this way, it cuts down on the chances of me cutting myself. And I'm also terrible at multitasking, so that's why sometimes there is long gaps of silence. I'm sure someone can attest to that. One thing at a time. Look at that. Mm. Asian yams. And the water is almost boiled now, too. See, look at that. Almost done and still no cuts. Come on, one, two, yay. No cut hands today. The first pot was a bunch of broccoli. Oh yeah. This is the last of my giant bowl of broccoli. That is a full bowl of broccoli. Asparagus boiling and looks done, I'd say. Mm, perfect. Like that's even a lot of asparagus, I know. But don't forget, I, try, I do this for three days. So this is three days worth of food. Over here at the sous vide, it has 48 minutes left and it's at 160. So the chickens are still cooking in there and we pull it out in 48 minutes. Here's what we have so far. The asparagus, sweet potatoes slash yams. I don't know what the difference is to tell you the truth. And the broccoli. And back here is all my glass dishes that I put them in. And we'll get to that after, I guess after the chicken's done, I should say. That is about it for the veggies. I'm still waiting for the chicken. And this is my dinner for tonight. It is leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, broccoli, asparagus, and sweet potatoes, of course. That's why there's only five chicken breasts because I had the leftover turkey. I'm gonna eat that up and I'll show you what it's all like when I put it inside its little dishes too and then into the fridge it goes. You know, some people might think this is a weird way to cook chicken, but it is apparently very, very, very popular. Um, I don't remember how I stumbled across it, but it works really well and it's easy to like just set it and just go. So I just pull it out of there, cut it all up. Cut 
Tie it all up like that. Again, probably not the right knife. It doesn't feel right, but works and I'm not hurting myself. I just divvy them all out. Give your hands a good wash. Kind of scoot everything to the side with the chicken like that. And then I throw my sweet potatoes in. Maybe a couple more in that one. One more in that one. Yeah, there we go. Then I do the broccolis. So a few broccolis in there. Broccolis in there. And this one gets lots more because it has rice too, so. And then any excess left over, I put back in the fridge and I save in case I make some other kind of meal that's different and at least I have some veggies left. Sometimes I switch it up and make steak or I make eggs and stuff like that. And it's nice to have some sort of little veggies and they just fit perfect in there. Perfect amount. Well, they've cooled off enough. This is the sweet potatoes, chicken, broccoli, and asparagus. And so I'm gonna put them in the fridge now and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just kind of a taste of what it's like in Canada since I've been back and what I've been up to. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.